back October 6th, 2024, and we are tracking soon to be Hurricane Milton. We are expecting this to be a hurricane later on today and then making its way towards the western coast of Florida as a major hurricane. Once again, we warned Florida four days ago now about this storm, and now quite literally every single outlet is talking about this. So right off the bat, the data we have for Milton right now, as the posting of this video, Milton is still considered a tropical storm at 60 mile an hour sustained winds. This may already be a cat one. In fact, I projected to be within the next couple hours at most at 991 millibars and take a look at this moving east at five miles an hour that is very significant and we're going to talk about that because this is a super rare spot for a hurricane to form not only that but then to move from west to east during its entire lifespan is also super rare let's not forget we also have hurricane kirk out here as well as hurricane leslie not too much threat to land as of now also very important i'm aware we are in the western gulf right now so there is time for this path to change as of right now the gfs has landfall taking place around St. Petersburg, Florida, maybe Spring Hill, Clearwater. That has been a common theme over the last couple days. You can see a 960 millibar landfall there. This is ranging between a Cat 2 and a Cat 4. Some of these models even have this thing, a possible Cat 5. I don't see that happening, but we need to be very aware of landfall changes because as you can see, a lot of the models have this thing going from about Clearwater and Spring Hill south. There are a couple models that have it kind of hooking north sooner, so still a lot of time for things to change here. But all in all, we are looking like a guaranteed Florida landfall of some sort. Now, I knew right off the bat this storm was going to outperform. Look at these storm cloud heads that are shooting up from the central area of the low-pressure system, Milton. These are literally explosions taking place, explosions of energy, and that lets you know that this thing is really ramping up. Underneath this cloud layer, you have these counterclockwise surface layer winds that are beginning to spin and churn this thing, and you will start seeing the formation of this hurricane. It's going to be super nasty, and it's going to be a long next three days. Now, I have many people asking me what the effects of this hurricane will be. That's very hard to tell. I mean, if we are anywhere from a two to a four, we're going to expect anywhere from eight to 18 feet of storm surge. That will also be about 100 to about 150 mile per hour winds. That's a wide range, but that's hard to tell between a two and a four. And one positive thing we can take from this hurricane, if anything, is the fact that we just had Hurricane Helene and a lot of the areas under watch for Milton are the same areas under watch for Helene. So those plans are already in place. Some people aren't even there. So in a horrible situation, this is a silver lining, you can say. With that said, my friends, that is the update for this afternoon. As always, please follow my X, Instagram, and TikTok channels for constant updates outside of YouTube. That's where I talk about things I can't talk about here, and you all know what I'm talking about. All right, everyone, appreciate you all. Shout out to Canada. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.